what's up guys welcome back once again to my channel as you can see from the title today i'm going to talk about how to um start your youtube channel now that we are all home and we are still home especially the tertiary students we are still home. we don't know when we are going to go back to school or something i don't know A lot of people have just decided to begin a youtube something and i think if you have thought about starting a youtube channel then thumbs up to you and i'm proud of you at least you've thought of something innovative something creative something you feel you can do but then let me just tell you this let me just hit it before i even give you the starter pack it's not an easy road down here have you seen me if i tell you i started youtube i think is it that a year ago or two years ago no i'm sure it's three it's almost two years i started youtube and if you check my subscribers and then you check my views you'd understand the pain and struggle so youtube isn't just about what should i say isn't just about you getting up one morning and then you're like okay so everybody's creating a youtube channel so let me do some no it doesn't work like that at all not 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 you have to be first of all determined secondly you have to make sure you know what you're doing <laughs> you have to know what you're doing third <laughs> it's really funny for me because Hmm. if i tell you my experience okay let me just go with the list first know what you're doing second you have to be consistent third what should be the third thing don't let your guard down at all fourth post at the perfect time like just find good timing maybe twice a week three times a week and then it should be at like some time range some particular time range maybe if it's two between 2 to 4 p.m or um 10 to 12 10 a.m to 12 p.m i don't know something or 4 p.m exactly something anything just make sure it depends on your viewers the people you want to see your video if they are um young adults maybe from 18 18 say 18 and above or oh, should I? Yeah, 18 and above. Then, mostly, you can see weekdays is actually sorted. But then, not everyone will have time to watch your videos on a weekday. Some may go to work, some may have like a busy schedule during the week or whatever it is. So you have to plan really, really well. Like, super well. So maybe, you know, okay, Monday to Friday is a busy day. I mean a busy week. So people will go to work and all that kind of thing so you just say okay work closes at 4 p.m or work closes at 5 p.m so okay then let me post at this time so at this time everyone is back from work exhausted and everything and they want to relax and then you just create some content that is relaxed and something that is catchy something that people would like to see she gets it so that's basically it but there's more to it i if just ask me any question in the comment section and then I'll see how best I can help you with it. I'm not an expert. I don't even have a lot of um, views or followers or whatever it is. But I'm happy. If I tell you my story, hmm, I don't know if you believe me, but if I tell you my story, I think you probably think twice about doing this YouTube thing. Because if I tell you the number of times I have given up, on youtube i have tried to sell my account and everything let's just not go there this isn't about me this is about you guys okay so to start a youtube channel there are like just a few things you need so as a beginner the first thing you need is your phone so i started i started my youtube channel using my i think my iphone was it my iphone 7 I think it was my iPhone 7. No, wait. 
wait 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 something happened before okay so how i began my channel was i got this friend um and he's he's a photographer he was a student a graphic designer student in it i was linked to him and he had a camera and everything so if you see my first two to three videos you could tell i didn't use a phone for those i used like a camera so he was basically the one running my youtube for me at that time i was in school then and i really needed to start a channel badly so he was the one who started the channel for me and everything he shot my videos edited my videos and then uploaded my videos every time and then he just shares it with me and then i spread the word so that's what happened so it was like he was managing me kind of thing but then it got to a point he was in his final year so he didn't have time anymore he had to do his project and a lot of things kept creeping in so i had to take it upon myself to do my thing because i was the one who went up to him that i needed help so the first thing i think i was using a six plus or something back then yes yeah, so i think i was using a six plus and here's what happened i did i didn't have um, a tripod i didn't have anything nothing like at all at all at all so <laughs> i use my phone it's either i i mount like a stack i stack books yeah so after i stack the books i just find like some cloth and then that will support like the back of my phone so i just put the phone there and then my camera i use my front camera a lot and which is bad it's like really wrong to use your front camera but i still use my front camera i don't know why so like i was saying i use my front camera a lot so at the beginning so i was using my front camera to do my videos and everything after i stack my books and then i put my phone on it and then that's it so that's how i started shooting my videos myself and then um sometimes when maybe i'm doing a vlog or something I let my friends hold my phone and then they just video me and then after that I do some editing and then the videos come out the way you see them and it's not easy at all like not easy at all at all I'll probably do a video on how I edit my videos maybe not how I edit it but maybe the apps I use to edit my videos I use a lot of apps to edit all my videos and people have asked me how I do it and all that but that'll come in another video so yeah um where was i again yes vlogs my friends hold the phone they video me and everything so the first thing to have is a phone a good phone with good camera quality secondly if you don't have a ring light at that time you don't have a ring light at all a tripod whatever it is without a tripod you can use your books and then without a ring light you can use broad daylight broad daylight is like the best if you see my videos from the beginning i didn't know about this broad daylight thing in your video whatever so my videos were either blurry or they weren't like really visible like it was just scratchy it wasn't so much of a good quality yes bro for now me bro see this is good thing they have to open the school because i'm suffering with my english <laughs> yes so <laughs> yeah that's that so without a tripod you can use your books and then without a ring light you can use body lights yes yeah, so you can stand in front of a window and then you shoot your video with your back camera which is more clear is much more clearer here than the front camera no lie no doubt about it you can try it you can try it and then give me your feedback okay so that's two and then the third one microphone okay up till now i still don't have a microphone i still don't use the microphone you just have to how did you even say there's this English word that these people have been using? I don't remember it. But there's this word that you say you have to project you have to project your 
you profane you say you have to project your voice and then you are good to go okay and then the next thing is the apps i was talking about the apps you use i was talking about apps right i'll do that in another video i'm not going to first of all your starter pack you need a phone a phone with good camera quality and then you use the back camera of your phone to shoot your videos if possible if your back camera is broken or something you, you can use your front camera so the three most important things you need as your starter pack for a youtube channel is your phone your books or whatever you get to mount your phone and then good lighting that's it and you're done like yeah that's basically it it's not that difficult like that's just <laughs> that's just it and yeah there you have it i know i spoke a lot and then i only mentioned three things but i'll do another video because there's a lot to tell you about youtube hey god there's how to how to things you need to know before you even start a youtube channel hmm. there's a lot to there's a lot a lot of things you need to know but then you see it in my next video okay so don't forget to leave a comment on what other things you think one can use to start their youtube channel or if possible to maybe you have a question for me or anything just hit me with what you got okay i'm going to be here for you i'm going to be here to answer every question so leave your questions in the comment section and don't forget to like my video share my video and then subscribe to my channel please and thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in another i'll see you in another video okay bye